I'm Mary Cahill. Thanks for joining us on the story. A dramatic shootout on a crowd. Joining us now, Steve Morrison and law enforcement. We are staying on the story of the suspect accused of driving into a 10 commandments of public interest, criminal trespass, and first degree criminal mischief in relation to that incident Wednesday morning. President Donald Trump lashing out this morning. I heard porn. an incredible scene caught on camera. A pregnant North Carolina woman goes after a man she says she caught rummaging through her purse. Rob Bradley of our affiliate WLOS shows us what happened next. The alleged thief was charged with breaking and entering of a motor vehicle, larceny and misdemeanor damage to property while the driver has been charged with misdemeanor assault with a deadly weapon. Criminal defense attorney Yoshi Gunascara joins us now on the start. I mean, the video, we've all watched it a bunch of times here and every time I see it, I think, oh my goodness, it almost surprises me again. She's charged with a fairly serious charge here. What's her parking lot? And then we saw them speak to her and she takes your breath away. Um, there's another story we want to ask you about, Yosha. So uh, this is a much different story, frankly, a much different outcome. It involves a YouTube stunt which turned deadly uh, for a couple who was seeking online fame. Now, look at this. We look at the video and the aunt saying it's a prank gone wrong. Uh, she had tweeted out, Mona Lisa Perez had tweeted out, me and Pedro are probably going to shoot one of them mine. That was Monday night. It seems they take into account the fact that she has a young child, the fact that she's pregnant. They definitely could. It seems like she could be sentenced up to 10 years. But this stunt that they were trying to pull off, she says, his idea, not mine. I would imagine that might come up as full for her in her case. Does the the apparent in going to stop that bullet, as we know, Yosha Gunascara, great to have you with us today. Thank you. Thank you so much. The family of a missing are tighter restrictions on prescription painkillers in Kentucky starting today. That new law limits in Kentucky. Meantime, in Northeast Ohio, the opioid crisis now requires cold storage mass casualty trailers. They're also known as mobile morgues. The been pregnant is now facing charges after police say she overdosed on heroin and then left her baby brain dead and on life support. Now, if the baby dies, the district attorney is expected to charge Casey Dishman with homicide. Uh, the baby's father may also be charged. Again, that was Paul Martino from our affiliate KDKA reporting. As you know, HLN is covering the opioid crisis in America. Our meeting today in Kentucky, there are tighter restrictions on prescription painkillers. That new law, the most difficult elements of drug addiction, though, is when users and addicts stop and the pain of withdrawal kicks in. The shaking is heartbreaking because this is truly the collateral damage. Oh, I mean, think about it. We've seen videos of people in withdrawal huddled in a fetal position on a bathroom floor, shaking, sweating, diarrhea, cramps, horrifying headaches, nausea, vomiting. And the strongest, toughest man among us can barely get through that, that war. Now put that into the body of a little brand new six pounds founded for Cassandra's baby to go when the 21 day withdrawal isn't quite enough. Have a look. Wow. Right? So you think about Cassandra. She says she's got this little baby. This baby is for her a life ring because she said, this is what's going to get me clean. These are the babies that somehow got through that. And imagine the condition they're in. And this is what they have to deal with in terms of, so, so you have to get them off of the drugs, right? You have to wean them off of this addiction that they've been born with. How does it affect them, though, later in life? Do we uh, know yet? Hmm. That's an excellent question, and that is something that a lot of experts are grappling with right now. And here's something no one's going to want to hear, because we all deal with these babies, right? Whether it's special education or some kind of hospital care or some kind of special need. There are studies that have been done in Australia that show as they get older, things actually get worse. That this country. That's ground zero. People in Huntington say, hey, America, take a look right here. What we're dealing with is what's coming your way. And they're not wrong. It is coming our way. Mm -hmm. And if you want to spend all your money on special education and crime fighting for all these kids after they grow up, power to you. If you don't, you got to do something now. So important to tune in tonight. We will be watching. Ashley, thanks for coming by. The special, of course, airs tonight right here. Thanks for joining us today on The Story, America Hill. We'll see you back here at 1 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. Stay tuned. Forensic Files is next on HLN.